Well, let's get started with Monday Fun Day. You've got this, um, well, this graph paper I made for you with one darkened square. And you see, you got a little space there for your name. So go ahead, put in your name. And um, well, and we promised we'd color today. Let's get coloring. Now, we can't see very well here. So I'm going to zoom in on this area. Ready, set, wah! Oh, yeah, beautiful. So I'm zooming in on this, this area here. And um, well, you got this one black square. These are all squares, of course. So I'm going to I'm going to start by shading in the square below, or outlining it like that. If you want, you could give it a little color. Ah, very nice, grasshopper. Well, what you've got here is this whole thing together. Now is a two by one rectangle. Yeah, that, I got that two by one rectangle. And now I'm going to go to the right. I've got a side of two here. I'm going to shade in a square over there. It's going to look like that. So now I've got another square. Shade it if you want, if you like to color. And now my two by one rectangle. If I look at my entire rectangle now, it's not two by one anymore. It's a three by two. Wow. So it's starting to grow. Now, let's have a look at, let's put a square on the top. Wait a minute. Are you getting this pattern? We started by putting a square on the bottom. Then we go to the right. Oh, and then we go to the top. Now, the square that's going to fit there will be a three by three square. Oh. So now, if I look at this entire rectangle, it's one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three. So I'm gonna say it's now grown to a five by three rectangle. See, we're having some fun with this, and uh, eventually you're going to see what we do here is, well, we've gone bottom left, or bottom right, top left. We're spinning it around, a bit of a spiral. Let's shade in this square. Looks like a five by five there. And you can see that pattern. <laughs> Looks pretty interesting. Now, you've probably guessed by now what we're doing, and I'll, I'll give you a hint. Rhymes with Fibonacci. And... Um, well, we've already constructed this in Sketchpad, but we're having some fun by generating it a different way here. I'm going to move this out of the way, and I want to put in, I want to place my compass here and say, let's suppose I ah, grab that compass like this. Oh, get this thing out of the way. And I'm going to gap this compass. I'm going to gap this compass so it is the length of the side right here. Tell me if this starts to look familiar. And then I'm just going to swing that compass right there. Just a quarter arc, a quarter circle. You see where the needle is? The needle's on the inside of the curve. And I want to swing it like that. Nice. Okay, but that's it. Just that distance. So let's put that compass, let's put that compass down and let's grab this compass or take the needle and we're going to put it again oops, missed, on the inside of my square. I'm going to gap it for this size square and I'm going to give that a little bit of a swing. Again, the quarter circle. Oh. Look familiar yet? Um, now this is a different way of coming up with the same drawing. And um, there's a companion activity for this that um, I guess I'll put a link up there too, where we, um, well, let's just keep, let's just keep this pattern alive. Let's keep this going, see where it takes us. Um, we'll zoom back out, ready? Whoa! Okay, so this is what we did. One square, two squares. Make another square make another square. That's my five by five. Down here, eight by eight, 13 by 13. Hmm. I'll let you do the counting. And then it'll just fit like that very nicely on your paper. Now, color it any way you want, but um, do swing those compass arcs. And when your work is done, it's going to look like that. Very nice. So shade that, color it, have some fun, and welcome to math class.